so in this first section I'm going to be tapping around everywhere, scratching, it's going to be a lot of scratching sounds, I do quite like that actually, it's growing on me, but with tapping as well, and I know that annoys some people so that's why I'm saying it, and in the second half of the video it's going to be me um, talking about the princess lifestyle and aesthetics in general, well not really, mostly princess aesthetics and why you can be what why you can be and think you want to be bestie and like to enjoy life to the fullest so yeah i hope you enjoy
shakes a bit though. No princess is perfect, Basti, but we try.
with it. You want to listen to music? Cool. Have something that makes you want to listen to your music. You want to have like a cute stationery? Then get a cute pencil case. Or make a cute pencil case, like decorate a box. I'm not saying you have to buy everything. You can make these things. You can even make natural deodorant with baking soda and a few other things. And if you're an artist, you can even make a container like this. I'm not though. And this book of besties is gold because this literally cost me two pounds. It's second hand, it's thrifted. And it sounds amazing. And like, one second. I was just thinking like in terms of life, you can be anything you want to be, right? So I want to be a princess. In any age, like if I want to age regress with those, then I will be super small. But if I want to be a princess in middle space, I will be a princess in middle space. But if I want to be a princess in everyday adult life, Bessie on, you know I'm gonna. And so I was thinking on like, cause I have a really bad to do like a routine. I have a really bad routine. And I know I need to make one, but I don't have the motivation to make one. So I was thinking like, how do I romanticize this? Like how do I make it into something fun? If you want to be a princess, there are so many things that you need to do. Like, you're going to be busy all the time. You're going to be visiting gardens. You're going to be helping people. You need to learn sign language. Learn how to use a fan. Learn how to be kind and communicate effectively. Learn all sorts of different rules that apply to, like, castles and stuff. There is a lot that you have to learn as a princess in life. So... Princess journal. It's just a regular journal. I'm like claimed as my princess journal. I am gonna go to the extent of spraying perfume on my pages so that when I open it, it smells nice again with these sensory trigger thingies. And I'm gonna choose a pen that I'm gonna claim as a princess pen and use it. I have a tiara for everyday use. Like this is. This is not an everyday tiara. I thought if I was to look at myself now as owning a proper pink tiara, I would be so proud when I was six to eight years old. Because these aren't for children. These are for older people. Believe it or not, honey buns, people wear these to weddings. And like, oh, can we just talk about for a second, like weddings? I only wanted to have a massive wedding once because I wanted to be a princess. I wanted to have the big dress, the bridal gown, the veil, the cute, like, just everything is very, like, princess-inspired, kind of prom, very ball-like, you know. But why can't we just do that to ourselves? Why do we have to get married? Like, do you really think I want to be... <laughs> chained to someone's side as a life sentence through a marriage that may very well go wrong. No, no, honey buns. I want to be a free-loving bird and I want to um, spread my wings and fly. You know, I just came out of a 12-year relationship and it was my first time on my own and I longed for a wedding so bad when I lived with my ex. It was the only thing I wanted, like collages all the time of, of uh, weddings. And I wanted to have angel wings and cosplay up, but through many, many different events of disappointment, getting my expectations up for a relationship that wasn't really, he wasn't committed. So I don't know why we 
we romanticize this, like what it's good to romanticize, but to imagine a one day wedding as being this one event that these women, like these little young girls want to have because they want to dress up like a princess. Why can't we just normalize being princesses anyway, instead of having a big wedding to do that? Why can't we just go to balls and stuff? And that's the thing, you see, this lifetime does actually exist. Obviously, there are real princesses, but when I worked in retail, there was a woman once who came up to me, and this is, this is the cool thing about working customer service. You do meet all sorts of people, and it's really, that's the only thing I really liked about the job. And I used to talk to them for ages, guys. Ages, I got told off constantly because tills are supposed to be fast. Can you imagine with Aldi, especially? And I just love talking to everyone. And I think, of all things, I think I do miss that because I'm very social. I talk to people a lot, but I, uh, I'm not very good at keeping relationships. Gee, I'm going into personal depth here, but there was this one person who came up to me and she was buying like all sorts of like really cool stuff. And I was like, wow, but it was like a lot of stuff. And I was like, is there like some kind of special event or whatever? She was like, oh no, we're just, um, there's a group of us going to a charity ball. I was like, a charity ball? She goes, yeah, you get dressed up as like princesses um, and you celebrate and try to raise money for a, a particular cause. And I was like, that is absolutely amazing. Can I ask how much like tickets are and stuff like that? And how, how do you get like involved? Because I thought maybe it'd be like some kind of celebrity ball, you know, where they kind of keep it under the covers and they all go themselves. Um, and she said, no, it's like 56 pounds, something like that. A ticket, it's expensive, but it goes to charity and it comes with a three meal, a three uh, course meal. And there's dancing and stuff like that. And I was like, this is absolutely amazing. She goes, yeah, we go every year in March. I was like, that just blew my mind because I didn't know anything like that really existed. Um, and I want that life. Like... I want to be able to dress like a princess. Could you imagine? Go to these one of these balls, charity events. Maybe they have an auction as well to list off some things that go to charity. And you meet the love of your life there. It'd be like going to a castle. You as a princess. Meeting a prince. Even though, yeah, it's not a prince. It's some guy. But, like, could you imagine how romantic that would be? Like, instead of just, like, online dating. Um, actually going to a ball like besties why does no one talk about this stuff either like how do how do i end up find out about this through like somebody at retail <laughs> like and that's what's really like triggered my princess aesthetic to just be a princess romanticize your life and have fun with it and like oh my gosh my legs go to sleep one second and like the fun thing about it is as well as there's no rules like you could be cultural you could be like the royal family in the uk or you could be your own or you can age regress to an even younger princess you know what i mean like princesses aren't just for little kids that's a thing because there is actually a aesthetic that already exists it's called princess core and like it focuses on kind of the elegance of being a princess kind of like the royalty more of like the real life sort of version of real princesses than like what you could see from like disney princess because disney princess is actually a thing the uh disney team whatever it's called actually came up with disney princesses as like a brand separate to obviously disney in itself in the 2000s so they like sectioned off a bunch of like popular princesses in that category so you do have the little girls princesses but you also have you know the actual real aesthetic of royal core 
royal, I think it's called royalty or royal corps and princess corps, but there's no kind of like in between. So you've got like the young princesses, you've got like the adult aesthetic, but there's no like in between, which is where I have this issue because I like the McBling 2000s princess, you know, the 2000s angel, 2000s brat, you know, um, and there isn't really a, an aesthetic for that. So mine kind of mixes between the young little princess and the princess core aesthetic. Do you know what I mean? There is all sorts of like lifestyles out there and it's becoming more accepted now in general, at least I think because of the fact that gender norms is a social con construct and like you know, the fact that nowadays I could dress up as Batman, not Batwoman, Batman, um, whereas back 10 years ago that was not a thing. People would say to me, no sir, you can't dress up as Batman, you're a woman. You have to be Catgirl. So I have to be the sexualized version of the, 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 well, the male version that I wanted to be. So like those sort of things now where you can swap gender, you can be gender neutral is kind of more normalized now. So I'd like to see, well, it's the fact as well that we see you can be anything now, you can identify as anything. That's where I get like the idea of just living any lifestyle that you wanna live. You know, and it's the fact that, you know, as well, life is becoming more like accepted with different, um, what's the, I can't think of the word, but it's, it, I basically mean like people don't get married as much nowadays. People open relationships up and have molly, poly, <laughs> I really can't talk today. Poly relationships, they open up and they date someone else or they bring someone in, you know, um, and the fact that like the wording gay panic is used now, I don't even heard straight panic. I don't know if that's a thing or a joke, but we're becoming more accepting of just like LGBT, of transgender, of neutralized sort of gender roles as they were before, you know, trying to kind of like just being more accepting. So that's why I'm trying to talk about the accepting of different lifestyles. So yeah, I hope that kind of made sense. I didn't mean to offend anyone at all completely. I'm just, I just really suck at like words and getting my opinion out there. Not that it really matters to anyone, but like, I just, here I be, here I am. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments.